What's going on guys? Alex here and uh, today you join me in my car. So um, basically this video is just a quick test for me just to check out the positioning of the camera and see if it's alright and what the quality is like. As, uh, just uh, bought the suction mount Joby Gorillapod cam, uh, the camera mount. So now you're stuck on my windscreen just to see if if it works and like, if it's if the position is good for the video. So yeah. So um, I realised after I posted uh, my first video, the intro, that I talked about my old car and I completely forgot to put. Uh, the pictures in of my old car so what I'm going to do today is actually remember to post uh, well not post uh, to, to put the pictures of my old car in this video roughly around now and just talk a little bit more about my old car and what exactly I had done to it so I bought the car in 2013 when they were first released uh, I think the build number was uh, somewhere around 472 or something like that so it was one of the first ones built and so I was quite lucky I got it quite early on and so yeah I started off just like the visual mods I've done sort of like I wrapped the bonnet and the roof in uh, anthracite carbon fiber which uh, I, I quite liked the carbon fiber look and I love the anthracite color as it went really well with the blue and um, so yeah, that's where it first started off and then slowly started getting into engine mods being with the first one being I had a Mountune stage one pack and the guy in front of me has just uh, jumped to red light okay that's always nice to see and um, so yeah the first mod that I done engine wise was Mountune stage one that took the car from 180 brake to 215 it was uh, I think it's about 600 pounds to have it fitted or something like that, but I managed to sort of get it free thanks to the guys over at Motorbase as uh, we do all their work and all of that stuff. And so yeah, he, he managed to source it for me because they get their engines built by Motorbase, so he sort of pulled a favor, which is always nice. And so yeah, that's where it all started off. So it was about a 215 brake. So it's not a massive increase but you could definitely feel it. it just all the gears pulled so much nicer and it was just a really nice place to be in and so then following up from that I started with like coilovers new wheels and all that sort so I had Bill Stein coilovers they made a massive difference I mean the handling just it just shot straight up it was incredible it, it would literally just point and go and it would just stick like anything so then I sort of uh, wanted more and more power so next up was Revo Stage 2 map and uh, all the bits needed so it was uh, AirTech uh, front mount intercooler, uh, ITG induction kit and uh, the map so, so that would all run better. Oh and uh, I had the Miltech exhaust and decal at that point so that was running about somewhere between 225-235 brake so that was uh, that was a much bigger increase than what I thought. I mean the figures it doesn't sound like that much but the actual drivability of it it just it pulled really hard in every gear it just it was quite an aggressive map so it literally just went really nicely. Then after that I got my last mod which was um, Revo Stage 3. Now for that I got a Pro Alloy Intercooler which was massive. Then there was a Peron hybrid uh, turbo to replace a standard one. I mean, it wasn't that much bigger, but it made so much more uh, of a difference. And then uh, I think hardware wise, that was about it. Oh, actually, no, wait, I had a Ford Recirc valve fitted as well, as well, I really wanted that sound. <laughs> it, there's just something about the blow off valves and Recirc valves that just does it for me. It, just transforms all turbo cars just hearing that that noise that well that everyone knows and um, so yeah 
and uh, I had a couple of pipes upgraded as well to just hold boost better. So by the end of that, it was about 280 brake. So it was a little monster and it did surprise quite a lot of cars out on the road as well because uh, most people see them like in their BMWs and whatnot. They just see, oh, it's a little Fiesta, so it won't keep up with me, but uh, I guess I showed them wrong. So yeah, that was, um, uh, more or less most of what I'd done to Fiesta and then I had like other bits or like upgraded brakes, uh, brake lines, all, all sort of stuff like that and uh, obviously the wrap that I had done at the end uh, just before selling it and by the end of that the magazine, uh, well not the magazine, the car, it got featured in Fast Forward magazine uh, over last Christmas in fact and that was just uh, probably my biggest achievement with uh, the car is I'd always uh, dreamed of having a car that would be featured in a magazine so when when I finally got it I mean I was over the moon so yeah that was my old car and um, so now I've got the Audi S3 current plans at the moment it's not too much as um, I'm trying to keep it fairly standard but what I'm doing is wrapping it shortly in well I won't tell you the colours and just just to keep a little bit of secrecy. Uh, but that will be coming in the coming months. Uh, as in June we are my girlfriend and I we're doing the Rico rally which is gonna be nice. It's one week, uh, two thousand miles all across Europe, like all the Alps, Germany, all that sort of stuff. So that's what um, we're sort of looking forward to at the moment and that should be pretty good. <coughs> So, uh, what else am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to get black wheels. So I'm looking at uh, Oz Racing Legera HLTs. That's, I quite like the pattern of those. Got some of my modified car in here somewhere. Um, but yeah, so that's the current plans for this car. I'm not going too mad with it just yet. It's, uh, but I want to keep it standard for a little bit. Just, just enjoy the car before I do anything to it. Uh, yeah, so that's just uh, a quick little update video for you guys, and just to uh, well explain a little bit about my old car and sort of what I've got coming up uh, in the next few sort of months or so uh, with this one for now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a review video very shortly uh, on the S3. I'm just waiting for it to be sort of a nice sunny day, but being in England, uh, they're quite hard to come by, so. As you can imagine, I haven't really had much chance to do it yet, but that will be coming shortly and especially because I've got this new mount, it's going to help out a lot as I tried uh, recording it uh, the other day when i done my intro video, but I didn't have a suction mount for my camera, for, for the vlogging side, and so every time I sort of like drove off, the camera would just fly away, so it wasn't really ideal. So yeah, I've got that coming up hopefully sometime this week, probably towards the end of the week, but it will definitely be out soon. And uh, so yeah, I hope you guys stick around. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that. And uh, I'll see you later. All right, cheers.